have you back to cook it with Phil Darce. Today we got a special event. We got Amy back here. Hello. If if you've been following this, we started this series of cooking videos because Amy want to learn to cook, and Amy's been cooking. Amy Amy's going forward. She's in college now, and now you need to know how to cook better because the food isn't that great, is it? Yeah, and that's no good. So Amy's learning more cooking techniques, and we're going to show Amy uh, some more things today, and you as well are going to find out because we've got kind of a special meal today. We're going to have broccoli with parsnips. Now, I use a lot of carrot, but today we're going to have something a little different than parsnips. Somebody tells me they're bland, but we're going to put a little seasoning in them to fix that. And we're going to have a special mushroom today that you'll see over here when we start preparing the, uh, the different ingredients. So if you'll hang on for a few minutes, we'll be back over here when we start chopping everything up. Thanks for showing up. Bye. Okay, this is our first ingredient. This is broccoli. And we'll have a little bit of what's left of our onion here. This is red onion. And I got a couple parsnips that are different, of course, than what we see. Now, are you catching them okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. And then the star of the show is going to be the portobello mushroom. You move it more up. And what? Right there. Right there. Okay. And then we have a few seasonings. We have the thyme. Okay. And then we have bouillon. And this is mushroom bouillon. And then we're going to finish it off with the Thai cellophane noodles. So that's it. Our preparation, we're going to have a little bit of onion, and I'll be rinsing this up shortly. This is a, a good looking red onion, so I'll get this minced up or chopped up here shortly. And uh, that will go in pretty early, give it a little bit of flavor. Now, Amy, you know how to do this, I know, so I think most people know how to chop onions, so we'll get those out of the way. And uh, I'll put the onions in one of these little fellas here, one of the containers, and then we're going to cut up some broccoli, and we're just going to do that next. Have you ever cut up broccoli? <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. I well. cut that a lot in college. At college, yeah, at a college project. Okay, here's the broccoli knife. So really what we want to do is have you just chop those off so we can get a bunch of florets and uh, put those in the container there. And, they, and we get them a little smaller. There you go, that's good. Okay, fine. Now, the next step is we'll cut up some of these. And usually what I do, that's why I like my favorite here, cut those down in half. And these are parsnips. They've already been skinned. We've taken off the dirty parts and, and that. So I guess what we want you to do is just chop those up so we get some nice edible sized parsnips uh -oh. How long this last? Have I used this big of a knife before? Ascertaining 
anything that's dirty. <laughs> you didn't want to eat that stuff, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> Got to clean off the mushroom. If we have to cut it. that tip off, go ahead and cut it off. Might yeah, have to. Cut it off. Okay, just cut it off and then we'll wash it. That's a beauty there. And uh, we want to cut those off in bite-sized pieces. So I'll let you finish that. But those are about the size we want. So why don't you go ahead and finish that job. And then we'll start cooking shortly. Okay, we're about ready to start putting the food together. We've got everything cut up. You've already seen that. So Amy's going to start cooking. We've got our wok out here, which is one of our favorite tools. Amy, we need about two tablespoons of, of butter there to put that. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you how to. All right. That's done. Okay, now the next step is we're going to put the flour in. So we get a hold of our flour and your strainer. This is something that I like to do when I'm making a roux. This is going to be our roux. And you, we're going to start stirring that up now and let it boil and bubble because that's one of the most important things when you're making a roux. It should boil enough and turn brown so that we lose the flour taste out of it. And uh, I think you're doing a pretty good job there. That's good, okay. And I think the next step is, we're gonna reach over there and get a hold of those onions and put them in there. And just dump the onions in and start sauteing them a little bit and right behind them. I'd put all the mushrooms. We got a lot of mushrooms on here. It's going to have some real flavor. Now, a lot of people know this, some don't, but mushrooms are a very, very high percentage of water. So the first thing we need to do is extract the water out of those mushrooms and get them nice and hot. And it takes a while to get that water out, and that's what's going to add to our flavor. So. As you're doing that, that's great. Now, you see that little, that tall container of oil? I'd get that out and I'd splash a little bit of that on there, too. And uh, let's get the mushrooms going. And I think what we'll do is everybody sees us put in there. That's perfect. And now, once you grab the lid over there to the right of you, and pop that lid on there and let those set for a few minutes and we're going to step away for a little bit and let this uh, mushrooms make some mushroom juice and flavor it up and then we'll be back after that's done. After it sets three minutes, why well, we'll be about ready. Ready? Then I take it off and put on the thing? That's right. As soon as all it's right. all covered and saturated, so then set it there for three minutes with the lid on, and we'll have us some. On here? Mm -hmm, on the pad. That's perfect. And uh, then once you move your. Perfect. That's going to be tasty. Now we'll turn this off. Here we are. We already ate. 
we came to a sudden end with the cooking part and then the crew decided they were hungry so we decided to eat before this part and uh, it was tremendous so I hope you'll try it now again today was a little different because we had Amy there and Amy's the reason we started this as we said she wanted to learn to cook and her sister Karina who's behind the camera decided she'd film us so that's the way we started a little over a year ago now they found other things to do for the most part so I've been doing it by myself but they wanted to come back and shoot it again so I hope we'll do some more of that because I certainly enjoy working with the granddaughters we fixed a great meal and uh, as I said it fed four hungry people they had a cousin over here from Peru not Peru Indiana but Peru Peru down in South America he's uh, here for a bit and uh, he was hungry so we all ate and I hope you'll try it enjoy it and tell me in the comments how you felt about it and if there's anything you'd change now I just hope if you were here for the first time you're going to come back and if you've been here time and time again I know you'll come back but be sure and hit the bell so you'll not miss our next video if you haven't subscribed we hope you'll subscribe yet so you get to see what we're doing and if you liked it please like it so other people will get to see it the more likes we get the more YouTube decides to put it out in the world to show it to us so we want to see that part now the recipe is going to be down below we'll tell you exactly what we put in there and again that was a portobello mushroom that was a little different than some of the cremini's that I use quite often it really made it a, a definitely a good dish so try it out and come back and see us and thanks for coming and again, it's been my pleasure to have you here. Goodbye for now.